and welcome to my channel. This is Leanne from Resin Shine Creations. I hope you are all doing well. In today's video, I will be using this lovely kit from Just For You Online UK and it's all about making your resin tray. So usually I do not purchase these kind of kits, but uh, on their website, just for you online UK, it was with 60% discount and the value was just screaming to me and I could not resist. So I got one. And also there is included these five uh, pigments that there is smoky quartz gray glitter cafe latte pigment smoky quartz pigment also white pigment and gold floating pigment and a edging paint so i thought that it will be great to try out and here I will open and show you all the colors, pigments, how they look. So this is the uh, floating gold one. This is the beautiful cafe latte pigment. And this is a smoke. I can't say properly, smoky quartz glitter. So all good stuff and it was really great value. And yes, so first things first, I am putting my gloves on and I have premixed resin. And this resin as well comes from Just For You Online UK with yellow label. And I will divide it now in some smaller pots and will be adding colors. So the idea for this tray was I will be trying to uh, remake, to replicate smoky quartz uh, stone crystal. So for this I will mix a little bit of brown and at that point I just mixed some resin and I wasn't sure if it will be enough or yeah basically how much resin this mold takes so I just mix it and then I said we'll see will improvise. So the other pot I'm using a white pigment and I absolutely love this white one. It's beautiful and it's so shimmery. So it's starting to become one of my favorites. So in a little I made this uh, floating gold pigment and I made a little bit because it's going to be just an accent in the my pattern and then I made some just clear and the last one I decided to add some white paste and I'm adding a tiny bit I can't add a lot because it's nearly out. So I was lucky. So I add a bit and I swirl it around just a few times. So it has this kind of whiskey effect and it's not properly mixed in. So yeah, that's all done. And now it's time to start pouring. So I'm starting just with some lines of white slash whiskey white 
and basically there is no method i just go with different little pots different directions and try to fill the mold and try to repli replicate the smoky quartz crystal I hope you are enjoying this video so far, so I would be grateful if you click a like on it and also if you like videos about resin, then I would appreciate if you also subscribe to my channel. I do upload twice a week, so there is always something new to see for you. Thank you! And now back to the video, I will put music in background and let you enjoy the process. So at this point I run out of my resin and here I am just uh, using some heat torch to pop the bubbles and then I will leave it to cure. So this is the next day and my mold is half full and here I had an idea what about if I make this other half kind of different pattern? Because instead of pouring just clear and leave this one as a top part, I could make it like two in one uh, reversible tray. And this is a little coaster that I had some brown and gold left. So I just took it and filled it and mm, now I'm putting some clear resin on top so it's all finished. So anyway for the top part of my tray I decided to try an attempt to do a marble effect. So 
for the marble effect, the base color would be white. And also I put some little bit of resin in two small pots for my silver and gold accents. So yeah, here I'm uh, mixing my white into the resin and I'm after a bit opaque white. And here I have my silver. And I'm literally adding just a little bit. And again, gold floating one. So the first thing is I'm putting the white layer It's all pretty simple at this stage. And so after I uh, distributed and popped the bubbles, I let it to sit for good 30, 30 minutes. So the white thickened up a lot. And I knew if I add my accent colors, uh, the, they won't move and won't go in the middle as uh, usual resin tends to do. So now I'm going in with my gray and I'm making these marmor accent lines. So first I go with silver and then I will top it up with gold and this is something I'm doing for the first time so I'm not sure how it will go but you need to try to know so once again I'm getting here a bit artistic and just trying to draw realistic lines and make it look like marmor. And so, this is the next day, the resin is cured and all hard and I will do the unmolding and we'll see what we have here. So this is the coaster from Leftovers, it's nothing special, but as Mother's Day is coming, approaching, uh, I'm starting to make some items, some coasters and probably one of the next videos is going to be uh, dedicated to our lovely moms and to me because I am a mom of three boys so yeah so I cleaned up the coaster and now we shall uh, unmold the big tray and see what it looks underneath. So as you see the colors didn't move much because I, how I mentioned, I let the white one to sit there for good 30 minutes. So unmold and we'll see underneath.
and there we have it my smoky quartz crystal tray that I don't know if it looks like that or not but anyway I'm happy and I'm glad that I chose to create two-sided tray and here is the golden pen that came in the kit so I will use it to paint the edges and as it the first time you need to press it down and then it comes out the gold paint and I can just mention how lovely and easy it is to work with a pen because usually I work with gilding paint and um, it's okay but pen is much easier and you can just do it non-stop. So, and that's it. Here you can see the finished results on my coffee table. And I am very pleased. So, this is how looks the one side. And in a minute you're gonna see how looks the other side. And this tray will stay with me. And it will serve me like a prop for making some pictures for Instagram or YouTube channel. So I hope you found this video useful and entertaining. Please let me know by leaving comment down below. But for now I'm saying bye bye. Until next time, keep creating. Bye.